we have two minutes or less. Um, usually I do a listening skill, but I read something over the weekend um, just about faith and um, just kind of not a different take on it, or but just kind of different wording around it. And we all know um, how important and how much we love um, our words and how much they mean. Um, so I'm just going to read it and maybe it'll stir something up for you. Maybe it won't. Um, but it just felt like something uh, that really stirred in me and uh, that I keep looking at and going back to. So it was a clip out of a book um, that I'm reading. And it says, um, it was she was talking about faith and how she uses faith um, and um, in the healing process. Um, so whatever that is, mind, body, soul healing process. She says, I use positive imaging and faith in my work. When I say faith, I mean energy force that comes from human expectation. I work at a clinic where trying to understand faith as an actual mental process as the way we can help create the future. Everyone was visualizing from fear, not faith. So I don't know if that stirs up anything. Take this time, head off, get your fabulous 40 minutes of faith-filled Monday fabulousness going and we'll meet you back at the top of the hour. We have five minutes, possibly six, to um, kick around. You know, I don't know since people join late, can everybody read the message in the chat? I wrote, wrote in there um, what uh, I read earlier, but I know when people come in and out, I don't think it's on there. Is it in your chat? I can't see it. Okay, I'll, I'm just, I'll copy it. I just copied it for you, oh. Sister B, and dropped it in oh. the chat. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Did anybody have anything that stirred up around that? Um, Wendy and I kind of kicked off the conversation before everybody got back, but um, what, uh, what stirred up around that, if anything? Did it hit anybody? I love, um, I love the energy force part of that and that it's to, to help create for the future, right? So that we can stay, um, intentional and moving forward that that is the energy force of faith is is being able to move forward you know even in the unknown and the unknowing things um or the next right step but um in faith you're you are building for the future and creating the pathway for that so i really liked the the fact that it talked about the energy force of it and the um the mental process mm -hmm. um and, and thinking of it that way, I thought that was really cool. Awesome. Yeah, I agree. I was just thinking it reminds me, you know, that like what you put in is like what you get out. So um, the more faith you bring, the more, um, you know, faith and that energy that surrounds you. And, you know, it it also made me think about your story about your 75 hard and forgetting your picture um because it's still a practice and i think sometimes we're quick to call it a failure if it doesn't if it doesn't go you know the way we want and it's just a good reminder that like um the practice isn't being perfect the practice is remembering faith or remembering your work in those moments where it's harder to do it. That's why we practice it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and really like, I don't know, just kind of what's stirring up for me is, um, being in failure, like, Oh, I failed. Like that's fear-based, right? Like that is, that is fear-based. So, I mean, and then with the energy piece of it, just that energy, like being clear enough 
And, and this is our morning practice, right? Being clear enough that that energy could pull us forward because there was something in me that could not turn around. There was something in me that could not go home. You know what I mean? And have that cup of coffee. I love coffee. And if anything's going to deter me, it's that first cup of fresh ground coffee in the morning. Um, but there was this pull, this energy that was like, there's no way you can turn around and go home. You know what I mean? And <clears throat> looking back at my own faith journey and how like even a year ago or two years ago, five years ago, it would have, I, I probably would have turned around and gone home. Like, ah, I, it's over. I failed, you know, but being clear and trying, trying, and it's a practice, faith is a practice, trying, being in it every day of like just clearing my space, connecting to the source, and then you are able to feel that energy pulling you forward. Instead of we get so caught up, like you said, Amy, in this or that or the other thing, that it's so easy to like just set it, oh, forget it, ah, oh, forget it, you know, mm -hmm. instead of just clearing ourselves and eating well and exercising our body or whatever it is for us and letting that energy pull us forward. What I also find really interesting about your story, Sister B, is just the whole, the part where she says, you know, we're trying to understand faith as an actual mental process. And you said, hey, this is about being mentally strong and, you know, building my, um, my strength around, you know, my mentality and what I, it is a practice, right? And so where your practice led you, was that on 300 day, whatever it was, 362 or whatever you were on, right? Mm -hmm. Is, um, it led you to keep going, keep going, even without having to intentionally decide to keep going it was a natural instinct because you had practiced mm. the and built the faith mm -hmm. good so good yeah oh great conversation this morning great um getting us stirred up for this uh this monday this kickoff to the week but it is time for me to hand it on over to co 